Hi right, guys, quick look at the character creation system which is pretty much done and debugged. Um, you can be a male or a female. That loads in a default body for you. And then you can go next and you can pick different heads. And you can't turn off certain ones, so you can't have no head for example. Uh, the scroller stops at the bottom nicely when you run out of content you can actually go back to select your gender if you want and uh, so I can go through and give her certain things so certain things I'm allowed to turn off uh, like the hat for example she didn't need a hat um, and it's saving all this in the background, which is why it knew already to have that hat, because I was messing around with that. So let's pick um, something funny for her to wear. Let's just say that. Now you got the, um, and you can also rotate the woman, uh, rotate the character so you can see what they look like from different angles now. So if you want this headwear too, which is like attachments, you can see there what it looks like. It's quite interesting. I quite like that. I quite like this one too. Let me uh, mute my volume. Okay. Eyebrows. As you can see, the character carries out animations. Just to show you what they would look like in different circumstances, really. Uh, we can say, no, I don't want any eyebrows. Yeah, notice the tick, which shows you what you've got selected. Facial hair, well that one's empty for her because obviously women don't have that. Um, pick different bodies. Pick something for the back, and you can rotate so you can see what it looks like. I like that one. Um, right shoulder. Give us some pads. Upper left arm. Uh, left shoulder, lower right arm, elbow, we'll leave, well, we'll put some on there. Lower left arm, my mouse is double clicking sometimes which is making things quite confusing, need a new mouse. Left elbow, let me put that on there. Right hand. Let's make one hand black and one hand sort of look like she's got, I don't know, fingerless gloves. Hips. Well, they're the ones I was testing earlier. Note that you can't turn off the hips because they basically contain the legs. Let's see, that one looks good. Attachments. So some appear on the left, as you can see this little grenade. That's the mouse double clicking. This grenade thing appears on the left of her. Uh, 
So does that one, and that one. But some of them appear on the right, like this scroll is cool. That appears just there, as you can see. Or well, this bag, or this little potion. A little bag there on the right, on the right here. I'll keep the potion. Right leg. Right knee. Yep, maybe that one. Left leg. Let's give her a different left leg. A bit of variation. Uh, different left knee. Now you can see I've come to the end because it says save. So if I hit save, I enter my name. This would be the point where the account is created. And it says, you know, are you ready? Uh, changes. Changes to this will have a cost in game. Do you wish to continue? So if you hit confirm, that's it, finished. Um, and it goes away, creates an account. If you click edit, you go back to the head right now. So then you can go back through and change everything. It knows that everything you selected already, as you can see, the ticks are all already there. So let's say you did decide to change the head, or you just click on a different head like that. Or if you... Um, Decide you actually want to change the gender. You can you can click gender here, and then click male or female, and that sort of brings back the default one. But your selections are still remembered. So if you go back through this, it'll put back on the same items that you already had on the woman. So in that way, you can have you can make a male version of the person you just made like that, and you can go back and say no, I still want to edit it further. I want that purple face. I uh, want, you know, no hat, and I don't want this, uh, oops, I don't want this attachment, I want them ears, and some crazy eyebrows. Now you can't select colours for anything yet, but uh, that should be quite simple if we're doing that. I want a no beard. Give him that body. Better cloak. Let's say we don't want shoulder pads, just turn them off. Turn off the elbow pads if you don't want them. Give him no glove, different hips. Let's turn off the knee pads. And now we're ready to go to save again. Again, I can go back to edit if I want. I'm just laboring the point to show. If I want to go and make a female like this, then I just skip through and it remembers everything I did. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm ready, I think. Ready to go. Confirm. And that's, you know, when this would be over.